guys, XRP is looking kind of bearish, but I'm still bullish. Let me tell you why. So with the recent, you know, insanity in the market that we just had uh, over the weekend, uh, the, the World War III scare, Iran, Israel, all this insanity. Um, obviously, we all know what happened, right? Bitcoin dipped, barely. Didn't even break its range, touched like 60K. And the altcoins got absolutely slaughtered. Um, the total altcoin market cap dropped like 25% in two days. Which is a crazy move. I mean, not for crypto. It's actually pretty normal in crypto. Um, but after all we've had is straight up since October, basically, for most of the market, uh, it was a pretty crazy drop. And a lot of people that had just gotten into the market definitely got scared out. And XRP suffered. Uh, XRP dropped from like 61, 62 cents down to 40, 41 cents at the bottom of the wick. And it looks like it broke some key structure, I'm gonna be honest. You could say that we're still ranging, right? We didn't break our, uh, or we did break, but barely we kind of just matched our, our low in August after the the sell off last su at the end of last summer, right? We pumped up to 90 cents and then we dropped all the way back down to like 42 cents, 43 cents. And we pierced that a little bit. We hit like 41 um, over the weekend. So the structure doesn't look good. Uh, we wanted to hold higher lows. And this is the first time since our bottom, really, that we put in a lower low. Which it's concerning, guys. If you're just looking at TA, the chart doesn't look great. <laughs> I can't lie. It doesn't look good. Um, we do still have a historical support line from like the last bear market that we can cling on to like if you draw it a certain way we're still within like our macro triangle now just on the bottom end of it on the support we touched the support and we've bounced back up we're chilling around 50 cents right now so we could make the argument that we have just been in a range right between like the low 40s and like 75 and we broke above 75 with the lawsuit but then we came back down and that's kind of been our top of our range of 75 ultimately in the bottom like 41 42 you can make that argument uh but the ta overall it, it there's a lot of stuff that you know we were hoping would hold and the structure looked really good and it didn't hold so it, it brings up some questions it brings up some concerns But I'm still bullish. Don't get it twisted. Obviously, if Bitcoin shits the bed and it does go lower, goes down to like the 50s, XRP is going to be toasted, man. XRP is going down to 30 cents again. But if Bitcoin holds here, which I think it can, again, the Bitcoin halving is this week. I think that sets us up to be okay for the market to be okay obviously dude it's so frustrating to see how the market's gone up since october and xrp has hardly done anything but when the market goes down it it gets obliterated with the rest of the market it sucks right and obviously we could have made so many better choices could have put our money in so many different things and multiplied it tenfold by now and then rotated it back into xrp if we still believe in it which again i do but that is coulda, shoulda, woulda. That is neither here nor there. That's the past. What's happened has happened. Um, but one solace I have is that I'm... With a lot of coins, I would be uncomfortable in these moments. And obviously, it still doesn't feel good. But I take comfort. And I, I can find peace in the fact that this is something that... Uh, this project, this, this coin, is something that I truly believe in. That I believe really has real-world utility and is going to be a massive part of the way that money moves um, over the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years. 
so with that in mind, it's hard for me to be bearish. Yeah, we can have this turbulence in the short term and the price might go down. And guess what? I'm just going to buy more. That's what I did this time. I just bought more. I stopped stacking a while ago, uh, but I was like, th this feels like a generational buying spot. We have so many positive catalysts on the horizon. The, the lawsuit could end any day, any week now um, with a settlement. And if there is no settlement, it still should end sometime this year after a trial. It's one catalyst. Two catalysts. The ledger keeps growing. The AMM just went live. There's a lending protocol uh, that's up for voting that could be going live soon. Um, a lot of good things are coming to the ledger in terms of utility. We have a possible ETF announcement. Who knows? After there's regulatory clarity. After we get the clarity too, who knows how many partnerships will be revealed? How many banks will come out and start saying, oh yeah, we're a partner with Ripple using XRP for on-demand liquidity, instant payments, instant transfers. So there's just so much good stuff that's on the horizon for the actual use case for this thing that I'm just bullish still, dude. Uh, even though the chart looks like it might not be great right now. The same thing happened before the big run in 2017. XRP broke out of the big, big macro triangle it was in to the downside. It wicked down really low, lower than we wicked down this time. Like it broke a bunch of lows, almost all the lows. Came back up, had a few more weeks of just trending kind of down, bleeding a little bit, and then boom, take off. So I don't think it's over. I think this move did what it was intended to do. I think it scared a lot of people, freaked a lot of people out, and is shaking a lot of people out of the market. And I know we've been saying this for years, like, oh, the way it's moving, the, the sideways action, the stable coin, the, it going down when the market goes up, it's all just to shake people out. And we've been saying it for so long, probably sounds really stupid and it's going to sound really stupid until it doesn't until we actually get that move up and i do believe at some point it has to go up uh i wouldn't have been accumulating for this long if i didn't truly believe it so for the time being it's just work accumulate more if it keeps going down and just chill live life live life and keep doing your thing like I, like I say in all the videos, go to the gym, go outside, make YouTube videos, do something you enjoy. Just keep living life the way that you want to live life and prepare for what we hope is coming. Uh, this was never a get rich quick scheme. It's never going to happen overnight. It's just about doing the research. We find something that makes sense, that we believe in for the future of finance and blockchain and the way that the world is going to work and the way that finances are going to work. We believe in this. So there's no reason to freak out and panic because there was a World War III scare and the market dipped. That doesn't change any of the utility uh, or the use case or the connections or the partnerships or all these things that we, we believe to know about XRP and Ripple. So why let it freak you out? As I always say, like I know it sucks to see your portfolio go down. Trust me, I, I, I feel it too. But again, nothing you could do. You have a vision, you have something you believe in. You've done the research, you've done the work. Stay strong. I made a mistake long ago uh, with a penny stock that I had. I know it's a penny stock, pretty shit. But I, I, I got it pretty low and I believed in it. Uh, I didn't put a ton of money in, but enough. And one time, one day, it broke below what I thought was a significant support level. And I panicked. I got out. I sold. I was like, I'm done. Cut my losses. Weeks later, it went up 10x. I would have made a lot of money. Like a lot of money for for where I was at at the time. And that, that taught me the lesson. If you have something and you've been buying it and you have conviction in it, do not sell. I know it's hard, but it taught me that lesson and I'm applying that lesson from day one since I've been getting XRP. Applying that lesson. Even though it looks scary, it looks bearish, 
I have conviction in the play. Again, I have other plays too. It's not the only one. But I have conviction, and I truly believe uh, in the research that I've done and that I've seen and that it will end up where we think it's going to end up. So I'm not selling. I am bullish, and I'm buying more. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Just a little chat today outside in the sun, a little cigar. Hope I could give you some peace of mind, uh, some perspective. If you did enjoy, leave a like on the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. We're moving up quick, going for that thousand subscriber mark here, hopefully within the next uh, next month or two. I think that would be awesome. And then more IRL content to come soon too. Get back in the gym, doing some more Muay Thai content once I get back out to Thailand. And hiking videos, who knows? We'll see what there is to offer, but I'm gonna start spicing things up again a bit. Obviously still crypto videos daily because the bull run's too exciting to not make crypto videos. So hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.